the fans in Foxborough at Gillette Stadium knew exactly what was on the line with Monster Energy AMA Supercross returning. That is Honda HRC's Jet Lawrence had the opportunity to become a champion. And what a day it would be. Started out with that massive fan interaction. He went straight through his heat to the main event where all he really had to do was start. It was as simple as leaving with a 26 point advantage. He started with a 47 point advantage. And off we go into the main event. That first turn was very yeah, tricky. It was trippy, like a uh, double apex corner. Colin Park, man, he was, uh, showed us some good speed. He gets out to the early lead. Pierce Brown, though, another great start, just like in the heat race. So, Pierce Brown was looking for some positivity, looking for some sugar to finish the season on a, on a high. He's satisfied with parts of his season, but wanted the big one, and that was the pass for the lead, rounding up Cullen Park. Well, and this was a great opportunity for Pierce Brown to get by Cullen Park as quick as possible because the other guys, Austin Forkner, RJ Hampshire, and Jet Lawrence, were far behind. So this is a great opportunity to build a big gap. RJ Hampshire had an eventful day, to say the least. He was involved in a number of scraps. That was Jordan Smith going down on his firepower Honda, already had an injured left hand. And then, later in the race, Jet Lawrence and Austin Faulkner put on quite the show. They were going back and forth. I feel like if Jet was able to hold off this counter attack by Austin Faulkner, he probably would have ended up winning the race. However, that was a great pass back by Austin Faulkner. And that would go on almost all the way to the finish. Now, we mentioned RJ Hampshire had an eventful day. This was his third crash on the day. Went down hard, tangling with Pierce Brown. Two lines coming together. Pierce Brown was going to the right. RJ Hampshire's natural line was fading to the outside. It was unfortunate because RJ Hampshire it would have been a remarkable story to come back, win this race after winning the last chance qualifier. So to the front and the closing laps and the carrot dangling for Pierce Brown of a first career 250 win. It all got extinguished with that move there as the comeback kid, Austin Faulkner, second race back after an injury out, and he goes to the lead. Well, and I thought he was just going to ride it off into the sunset right here, but that wouldn't happen. Because as it came to the wire, this dude right here, number 18, starts to pour on the power. Jet Lawrence in the mix, knew what he had to do, flew by Pierce Brown in the whoops. And we thought that he might have wanted to challenge and go really hard for the win to cap off his first ever Monster Energy AMA 250 East Championship. He got close, but wasn't going to do anything silly. Austin Faulkner. It was a story of two halves, right? The race win, the championship win. That was a much needed boost for Faulkner. And it was a magical moment for 18-year-old Jet Lawrence coming across the line to realize he'd achieved a massive lifetime goal of being a Monster Energy AMA champion. To join Chad Reed as the only Australians to do it, clinching the 250 East title. What a special feeling. Last weekend in Atlanta, he stood on the podium with his brother at the East West Showdown. This week, he stands on the podium, a champion, and gets the number one AMA plate the 250 East Monster Energy Supercross Champion, Jet Lawrence.